What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to All Sports Talk with Peter Burtnett. I know I've been away for about a week. Just real quickly explaining on that, I've been really busy covering sports around here. Being a sports editor is certainly another level of work to what being a sports reporter was, but doing doing my best out here, trying trying to get get that locked down and get that focused and everything before I dive into this because at the moment that's what I'm getting paid for not getting paid for this yet just being completely open and honest with you guys but in today's episode this is why you've clicked on to this one I'm going to be bringing back a little bit of coach prime talk if you've followed my channel since I since I started you've seen that the most successful video I had on this channel was talking about coach prime about the Colorado football program and about the players that he's bringing in, about the culture that he intends to create. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it below. Below, I would encourage you and would obviously hope you check that one out. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about some recent comments that Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, made on the Rich Eisen show about the type of players that he recruits that I think is certainly created some buzz. Some people maybe don't necessarily agree with it. I think it is something that is maybe under the surface a little bit and Coach Prime is bringing into the limelight. And that's this idea that the backgrounds of players really do matter. And I'm going to really pull three main quotes. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter video today. Um, I'm going to pull those three quotes. It's from from a, a post that will also kind of pop up on the screen here. But starting, starting with that first quote, Coach Prime says, quarterbacks are different, and in a second I'll get to what he meant by different. We want mother-father, you know, dual parent. We want that kid to be a 3.5 GPA and up because he got to be smart. Not bad decisions off the field at all because he has to be a leader of, man, a leader of men. I think that is a, an incredible point. I think that's why the quarterbacks that succeed – I don't think it has to be locked in that they have to have two parents. I'm not saying it's not possible for a single single parent player or even somebody who doesn't really have two, a pair of parents in their lives. It doesn't mean that they can't have success. But but what Coach Prime is, is saying here is that the importance of being a leader and of having that strong foundation is why quarterbacks are really, I mean, the most important position on the football field why so many of them do have either two parents or at least some of these other attributes of you know having a strong GPA because they're smart and they're going to make those smart decisions at the quarterback position and they need to be kind of well balanced in their mind and be able to make important decisions throughout the game. The second position that Coach Prime talks about is offensive lineman. He says again here, he looks for dual parent homes, a strong father that they adhere to, smart kid, at least 3.3 GPA and above. And so again, it's kind of a similar thing. You look at the offensive line, they're making kind of, especially the the center or whoever is calling the plays at the line of scrimmage needs to be smart, needs to be able to point out where, where a Mike linebacker is, where a blitz is coming from, where where maybe a, a, a defensive end or a linebacker is dropping back into coverage. They need to be able to pick that out to, um, to designate that and to be able to know where where the defense is and what they're doing and and I think also the a strong father they adhere to I mean when you look at an offensive lineman they are the tough hard-nosed guy on the field they're obviously normally you know tall and not I don't want to say heavy set but I would just say built with a lot of muscle and so they need to have kind of an example of of a strong father or maybe if it's not their actual father a very strong father figure in their lives who they can look up to and be like yeah I I know that I need to be strong because that's I would say the position where it's most important to have a lot of strength is the offensive line and similarly on the defensive line um but Coach Prime says the defensive line, he wants to be kind of the, the opposite. And, and I love the way he phrases it here in this quote. Now, my defensive lineman is totally opposite. Single mama trying to get it. He's on free lunch. I'm talking about just trying to make it. He trying to rescue mama. I love the way that Coach Prime says that. And I think it shows the, the hunger that, that a defensive lineman needs to have to get through those offensive linemen and to get into the backfield to get to the quarterback or the running back. I, I, again, I love the way that, that Coach Prime phrases it here. 
and it's certainly something that I think is very, very applicable. And, you know, I'm not going to put words in, in his mouth or to be, a uh, you know, a, an, an Instagram coach or a social media coach here. But I think defense in general, you kind of want some more of those qualities because they need to be able to, to be aggressive, to be able to make the hits. I would say a linebacker, you probably want to have a little bit more of the traits similar to in, in a player on the offensive side, especially the quarterbacks and offensive linemen, like Coach Prime said, and kind of similarly for a safety, because they need to be able to diagnose what the offense is doing. They need to be able to, you know, um, order order the defense around where to go, where to where to you know disguise a blitz, how to disguise a blitz. Where you know following the quarterback's eyes, especially for a safety, having that knowledge of what the quarterback's going to do, and then I think cornerbacks and and wide receivers are similar just kind of flipped obviously and they they need to have that i would say kind of a little bit of flair i think receivers and cornerbacks and dbs always have a little bit of flair i think it's important for them to be able to measure that but you you look at at wide receivers and cornerbacks and they're always able to to make the big play because they have kind of a little bit again of that extra flair whatever you want to call it and so, I, again, I just I really love love these comments by Coach Prime. I wanted to get a video back up here on the channel, aside from a short I posted a couple days ago. Um, and I know the, the first video did really well. So let me know your thoughts on Coach Prime's kind of designations of different positions on the football field. And let me know what you think are kind of the traits that are necessary for other positions on the football field. Or if you disagree with Coach Prime about how the quarterback, offensive lineman, and defensive lineman should kind of what their background should be. But that's it for this episode of All Sports Talk. Thank you so much for, for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like on the channel, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and turn on those post notifications so you're notified right away the next time I post. But again, that's it for this episode of All Sports Talk. Peter Burnett, signing out. Peace.